This is fun. I love this. Here's the first one. The wrong tomb theory. <laughs> Proponents of this first argument state that according to the gospel accounts, the women, had vis the women visited the grave early in the morning while it was still dark. Due to their emotional condition and the darkness, they visited the wrong tomb. Overjoyed to see that it was empty, they rushed back to tell the disciples Jesus had risen. The disciples in turn ran into Jerusalem to proclaim the resurrection. Here's what's, what's wrong with that. There are several major flaws with this explanation. First, it's extremely doubtful that the apostles would not have corrected the women's error. The Gospel of John gives a very detailed account of them doing just that. Second, the tomb site was known not only by the followers of Christ, but also by their opponents. The Gospels make it clear that the body was buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the Jewish council. If the body still remained in the tomb while the apostles began preaching, the authorities simply have to go to the right tomb, produce the body, and march it down the streets. This would have ended the Christian faith once and for all. Remember, the preaching of the resurrection began in Jerusalem, 15 minutes away from the crucifixion site and the tomb. These factors make this theory extremely weak. 